Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Joe, and I take you on the best adventures in Florida. And today, we are going scuba diving in an underwater graveyard. No joke, this site is an underwater cemetery. So this is an artificial reef. It's gonna be one of the largest artificial reefs in the entire world, and it's a memorial reef. So what that means is you can take your ashes or the ashes of your loved ones when they die, and they'll take them and they'll bake them into like a statue of a starfish or a dolphin or a mermaid or something, and you can actually get it put down here. So a lot of the artifacts we see down on the reef today are actually people's remains. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. We're gonna get down there, we're gonna see what it looks like, see what kind of fish are down there. And today I've got old school back with me. Hey, hey, hey. Old school's been gone for a long time. We got them back. We're gonna get them in the water, scuba diving again. But we're gonna do a very interesting type of scuba diving that we've never done before. So today we're gonna use a battery powered hookah system. So this is the Sea Lion. So if you're a scuba diver, you've heard of Brownie's third lung. They are top of the game when it comes to surface supplied air system. And they have made the lithium powered system. This is called the Sea Lion. So it's all battery powered. There's no engine running on the surface, which is awesome. So we're gonna try it out. We've never used one of these before. We've always used a traditional tank diving system. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how it works. So I'm pretty excited. Old school is a little bit skeptical because he is old school and he likes to use a tank and everything. But uh, I hope he likes it. So let's get in the water and let's check out this underwater graveyard. We are all geared up to dive off the Sea Lion. We're heading in down to the reef. The reef is about 40 feet deep. Old school is about halfway down to the reef and he spotted something pretty incredible. He got really excited about it. I looked over and there was about a five to six foot bull shark just swimming around the reef. Now bull sharks can be one of the more aggressive species of shark, but since we're not spear fishing, it shouldn't pose a problem for us on this dive. We're arriving at some of the main structures of this underwater cemetery. Now this underwater cemetery has been fashioned to look like the fabled lost city of Atlantis. The lost city of Atlantis was talked about by the famous Greek philosopher Plato. And so this reef is gonna resemble classical Greek architecture with columns, pillars, statues, and things like that. And you can see the grave markers here along the way. There are plaques and memorials for loved ones all over the reef. Look who's coming my way just as I was about to swim around the corner of this structure. The bull shark came back around. I'm really close to him now, so what I do is I just remain calm and I let the shark swim by. I just leave him alone and I see what he's gonna do. And it obviously has no interest at me at all, so I try to swim a little bit closer and get a good view of him. He's good size and he's got a couple remora fish swimming along with him, cleaning off his underbelly. He gives a little twitch there. I'm not sure if that's a sign of aggression or what, so I back off and stay away. So we stick here by the reef and look at these columns and the structure in here. Now, inside this sort of like a hallway, you can see there's a bunch of little monuments. There's like starfish, corals, little rays and things like that. Those are made out of the ashes of deceased people. And so every one of those is a memorial to someone. This reef is starting to grow a lot of coral, which is a good thing because that means it attracts fish. And that's the intention of this reef is to become one of the world's largest artificial reefs and a haven for all types of marine life, sharks, fish, coral, and things like that. So far, the sea lion diving system is working really well. Old school and I are at 40 feet and the surface supplied air system is pushing the air down to us, no problem. And it's very easy to pull the unit along. Here is one of the two large lion statues at Neptune Memorial Reef. It's very grown over with coral and there's a bunch of fish under here. So these are actually snapper and they're hiding out under the lion, which is pretty cool. It's a good spot for them to stay, get away from that big shark out there. And there are several grave markers on the side of the lion. So we see on this next structure, there's a lot of open holes. And I think those open holes are spots where the remains of deceased people are going to go. You can see some of the holes are already filled up, but there's a lot of open holes there already. Now, supposedly this reef is going to have enough spots for over 100,000 people's remains. A lot of the grave markers here look like they're grown over with coral. You can't read them. 
but there's very many that are actually clean and shiny. So I think the loved ones of these people have been coming to scuba dive and visit the grave markers and keep them clean. Or there might be a maintenance crew that comes down and cleans off the markers every so often. This hallway structure is one of my favorite on the whole reef. You can see all the beautiful little monuments down here. Starfish, stingrays, little heads of brain coral it looks like. And each one of them is actually the remains of a deceased person. And you can see the placards on there. It says who they are, how long they lived, and a message from their loved ones. Here's a cool little cowfish that came and swam right up to me and looked at me and then calmly swam off. With this sea lion diving system from Brownies, you have a hose which goes to the surface and connects you to the unit. Well, what's really cool is the hose attaches to your belt. So when you're swimming along, the hose doesn't pull on your mouth at all. It's just pulling on your belt and it's real easy to pull the unit along. We found the second large lion statue at the Memorial Reef here, but Old School just swam right by. He didn't want to look at it. He found something else off in the distance. This pile of debris over here looks like it used to be a roof off of one of the structures on the reef. Now out here in Florida, we do get hurricanes and when hurricanes hit, we get pretty severe waves out here and there's an incredible amount of force underwater that can damage reefs. So it looked like this roof might've got ripped off during a hurricane or something. We're at a depth of almost 40 feet and we've been diving for about 25 minutes and our battery is still going strong on the sea lion diving system. The battery can last up to three hours. There are tropical fish all over this reef. There's a queen angel fish there. There's a couple more cowfish there eating on the reef. There's a blue tang. While diving with the sea lion system, I had to make sure I didn't get the hose caught on any of the columns or the pillars here at the reef. But what I really did like was not having a tank on my back. I felt a lot more light, I felt a lot more streamlined in the water and it felt pretty easy to swim. This part of the reef had many grave markers and it was very, very beautiful. It had so many small tropical fish swimming on it. It looked like I was swimming inside of an aquarium. Old School found a trumpet fish. Now a trumpet fish is a fish that looks almost like a stick. And they remain very still and motionless sometimes and they try to hide among the coral. But for some reason, this one swam right up to us and was very interested in what we were doing. On the corner of this hallway structure was one of the biggest schools I've seen of striped grunt. It was very, very beautiful. They were packed in really tight and they let me get pretty close to them before they swam away. This is a juvenile hog snapper. You can see he's got a lot of orange and brown on him. And as he gets older, he's gonna turn a little bit more white in color and get a lot bigger than that. I went into this hallway structure as far as my hose would let me. And I took a look at some of the memorials. This one was pretty interesting. This is actually, looks like a little turtle. It's kind of a cool memorial. And this other memorial is like a little brain coral shape. You can see on my waist, I have a yellow pouch that has a spare air canister. So spare air is like a little miniature dive tank. And if my primary dive system were to fail, I could always switch over to my spare air and get safely back to the surface. This reef is really amazing for the amount of coral and fish life it has on it. But it's also really remarkable because of its significance. So each one of these little artifacts down here are the remains of someone. And the reef looks amazing now, but I wonder what it's going to look like when there's a hundred thousand people's remains down here. This monument is the focal point of the Memorial Reef. It's in the very center and everything leads to this monument. And in the center of the monument, there's a large, large, it looks like bronze circle and it has an engraving. So it has a beautiful depiction of the reef with dolphins swimming around it and the column structures that are all around the reef. 
As we were swimming away from the center of the reef, it looked like Old School got spooked. I saw him and he was looking all around in circles like he was looking for something. He was a little surprised when he saw me and he pointed off in the distance and there was that bull shark again. It would come in to get a closer look at us. So I swam over to it to get a closer look at him and it just started to calmly swim away. But then I got a little bit too close to it and it got spooked and it took off pretty quickly. I'm really impressed with this Brownies sea lion diving system. It's been a real fun way to dive together as a group. We only did two people on this dive, but two people down at 40 feet for an hour, that's a pretty good dive and the battery was still at 50% on the unit. And Brownie says that you can dive for up to three hours with the sea lion, which is pretty amazing. So if you have a group of people that wanna dive together or a family, I think that the Brownie sea lion is an awesome way to go. Brownies is a real awesome company and they're all about ocean exploration. They did sponsor this video and they helped me make great videos like this and hopefully we can work together in the future to make more awesome underwater exploration videos. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Brownies Sea Lion system. Links will be below. I hope you enjoyed visiting this underwater cemetery. It's a really amazing place and it's a really unique dive. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And also please consider subscribing to my channel for more great underwater content like this. We do diving, we do other adventure things in Florida. It's a really awesome channel and I hope you enjoy it. So please consider subscribing. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Now get out there and explore.